Hey everybody, this is Brett with Summit Auto and today I'm super excited to show you this brand new 2021 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. This vehicle has the three liter eco diesel V6 engine. It pumps out 442 foot pounds of torque, 260 horsepower. It's gonna get you 27 miles per gallon on the highway. 21 in the city and an average of 24 miles per gallon total. This Gladiator is capable of towing up to 6,000 pounds with the Eco Diesel in the Rubicon package. Black clear coat is the color. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second. So if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, smartphone, or television, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the looks styling and options of this Gladiator before seeing it in person. And if you like the video and how we do videos here at Summit Auto, in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we do videos of our new and used inventory each and every day. We're gonna get up close to this Jeep. We're gonna check out everything on it, in it, and uh, we'll start it up, check out all those LED lights and everything. Uh, first off, we'll start off with the painted and polished aluminum rims. Get the red Jeep logo on there. Comes with Falcon Wild Peak AT3W tires. These are LT28570 R17s and they got definitely an all-terrain tread pattern to them. The Rubicon package comes with the Fox shocks. Um, of course, with all the Rubicon stuff, the sway bar disconnect, axle locks, and all that good stuff. You get the Rubicon lettering on the hood there. This one has the LED lighting group, which gives you the LED running lights there, the LED halo running lights, and the LED headlamps, LED fog lamps as well. Note you get the red tow hooks on there, seven slotted grill, the heat extraction hood. This one does have the plastic fenders. They're not the color matched ones. You get the sandals on there. You also get the Jeep driving up the side of the window. T50 to take those doors off. We did a video on how to take your uh, Wrangler doors off. If you want to check that out, I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same for the Gladiator. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen. We're going to take a look at the original window sticker here. Feel free to pause it at any time. I'm not going to go through everything, but most of it. 2021 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. 3 liter eco diesel, 8 speed automatic transmission. Everything on the left here is your standard equipment. Note you do get the Jeep Wave membership, uh, which gives you some oil changes and stuff like that. Uh, black clear coat is your optional equipment, 245. Leather trim bucket seats are 1725. Tow package is 545 bucks. Premium LED lighting group is 1465. Jeep Active Safety Group is 895, gives you the blind spot monitoring cross path rear detection system. Has adaptive cruise control with forward collision, collision warning plus, which is $795 option, but that also gives you automatic high beam headlamp control. Auxiliary switch group um, is 345. Trail rail management system is 895. You also get a 115 volt outlet in the bed and lockable rear, rear under seat storage bin. Uh, eight speed automatic transmission is 2000 bucks. The Eco Diesel is a $4,000 option. It also gives you the 373 axle ratio. The hard top is 1545, and your total MSRP is 60,850. If you wanna get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this Jeep in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website. Of course, with the chip shortage and everything right now that's going on. Um, prices may vary from the MSRP. So check us out there. Three year 36,000 bumper to bumper, five year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. You might say, well, hey Brett, normally these come with 60,000, but because it's the Eco Diesel, you get the 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, which is pretty nice. There are your miles per gallon, 27 highway, 21 city, 24 average. And uh, it's not really rated for much for the safety ratings on there. It is a small grading of one and uh, kind of in the middle for the greenhouse gas rating. 
We'll finish the outside walk around here. You get the Fox shocks back here as well. Just take a look at that underbody here. Everything's pretty heavy duty underneath. Not as heavy duty as the uh, Mojave, but notice you get the rock rails right there to protect the back of the bed. Backup parking sensors. This does have that towing package, receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. Remember 6,000 pounds with the Eco Diesel on a Rubicon. So with the Eco Diesel on a Sport or, or an Overland, it's 6,500 pounds on the Rubicon because it's a little bit heavier, it's only 6,000 pounds. You get the LED tail lamps on there. Remember, we're gonna turn on all the lights at the end of the video. So uh, just check us out at the end of the video. We'll have all the lights on. You can see all the LED lights on the front and the back. Speaking of LED lights, you get LED bed lighting back here, the rail management system, and then you also get that 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in back here. That tailgate lifts up really nice. It also has the shock down assist, so it's never gonna slam down on you. Shuts nice and solidly. I believe those are LED lights as well. You get the granite crystal Jeep logo with the red outline. Always liked the Eco Diesel logo on there. This is a five foot bed. You get the rock rails down here. Protect the cab of the vehicle. Remember, you get those blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors. Inside, this one has the leather trim bucket seats. That they went with the tan, um, kind of the white stitching on there. And these do have airbags now on the side, standard. You get your driver's seat height adjuster and lumbar. Factory floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt and telescopic steering wheel, power windows, power locks, power mirrors. We'll hop inside, turn the ignition on, check out the instrument cluster, the radio, and everything that this vehicle has to offer on the interior. So you can see that this one has the uh, digital speedometer on there. Instrument cluster is a seven inch LCD display. You get your compass and you can put different stuff in the corners to uh, whatever you want it to read, whether it's time, miles per gallon, miles to empty. Um, so very configurable. Has the leather wrapped steering wheel. There's your adaptive cruise control so you can keep a certain distance from the car in front of you. Um, and then your normal cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls, and you do get audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. Comes with the seven inch touchscreen Uconnect 4C radio, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities on here. And uh, it also has all your different apps. You can connect your cell phone to the screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay and then project your cell phone to the screen. So if you have a navigation system on your cell phone, such as Waze or Google Maps, project it to the screen, use it through the screen, it's like you have nav on your, on your screen. Um, we actually did a demo on an 8.4, bigger radio, um, but the same system with an Android Auto, if you wanna check that out, it's in the upper right hand part of the screen. Anyways, I love the dash on here. It's, I think it's mineral gray is the color that they use to, uh, paint the dash on this one. Sometimes they come with the red dashes. I'm not a huge fan of that. I do like the gray dashes on here. Down here, all your climate controls, your start stop capabilities, stability control, speed crawl control, um, power windows. You have your axle locks right here, rear only or front and rear, off road mode, sway bar disconnect, and then you get four auxiliary upfit switches. Your eight speed automatic transmission gives you the red toggle switch there and then the gladiator logo on there four by four shifter and this one has the keyless entry with the flipper key always like these keys on the new wranglers and gladiators very chunky you know which key you have it's got a little bit of weight to it um, really a cool system there these hardtop pieces come off, as does the back 
hard top piece. These front pieces come off just like the Wranglers. Um, pretty easy. You have your home link buttons right there for garage door security systems and lighting systems. And uh, you also have, remember those automatic headlamps. I'm sure that I'm pretty sure the camera and everything is in there for that and the adaptive cruise control. We'll take a quick look at the back seats and then we'll uh, take a walk around with all the lights on. As promised, the back seats get the latch child safety system. This comes down, there's two cup holders in there. You get the manual sliding rear window with the built-in rear defrost. Back here you get two USBs, two USB-Cs, 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in. Back to the seats, pretty cool. And these seats fold up. There's a storage bin underneath here um, on both sides. This is where all your bolts for your hard top and door pieces go. And uh, these headrests do fold down for better visibility when nobody's riding back here. You do get child safety locks on the back doors. You can see those LED bed lights. I got those on. Those look really good. And uh, we will turn on all the fog lights. We'll take a look under the hood too. Check out that eco diesel engine and then we'll start it up as well so you can hear it run. It's really quiet. So there's the Eco Diesel V6. Remember, 260 horsepower, 442 foot pounds of torque. So, a very torquey engine. Not much to see. There's your air intake. Put that back down. Really a cool ride. It's got a really good stance to it, really good look to it. Um, we'll start it up too here and then we'll do the final walk around with the lights. Really a quiet motor. Get the LED license plate lights, the LED tail lamps. And one more final walk around here, won't hurt anyone. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you will have been able to get a really good idea of the overall looks and styling of the Gladiator here, this Rubicon in black clear coat with the LED lighting group. There are those headlights, running lights, fog lights all lit up. Really a cool ride, and to see more pictures of this Gladiator or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos we do each and every day here at Summit Auto. And if you'd like to check out, and you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can do that. Click the bell notifications, you'll get updates every day we do videos. In fact, any second you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Gladiator videos like this one in the upper right. A link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. And we're super excited to be offering this brand new 2021 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon with the Eco Diesel in black clear coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.